I had a comment on my video about using layer masks in Photoshop Elements and the full version of Photoshop um, asking about how to apply a flag of the USA to a map of the USA so I just thought I'd do a quick video to demonstrate that um, so I'm using the map of the USA and the flag from um, Wikipedia, both of these are in the public domain so they're free to use. So we've got the map open in Photoshop here. I'm just going to press Ctrl and plus a couple of times to zoom in. Scroll down and I'm using the polygon all the suit tool here and I'm just going to select the bit here. There's, there's no need to include Alaska in it really unless you really want to. Um, I'm going to delete that and you can see here the um, checkerboard pattern in the background shows that this has um, got a transparent background just pressing Control and D to deselect there um, I'm going to go to Window, Images and that brings up both of our images side by side clicking on the layer for the map in the layer palette I'm going to drag that over to the flag and drop it there and now we can close the map. Don't need to save any changes. I'm going to use the move tool and move the map. And it's a little bit larger than we need, so just pressing control and minus to zoom out there. And I'm just going to resize it. You can see up here we've got constrained proportions is ticked, which is what we want to avoid stretching the map in one direction more than the other and you can either click on the green tick or just press enter to accept the transformation now because this has got a transparent background we can control and click on it to make a selection based on the layer and we can hide that now and then on the flag I'm just going to apply a layer mask to that and there we're just about done I'm just going to move it to the center just for a couple of um, finishing changes use the crop tool holding down the alt key as I drag out the bottom so that it will drag out the top as well and I'm going to use a solid color layer and then move this layer down below the map layer and there we've got a map of the USA with a flag of the USA applied, so very easy to do.